Okie dokie. Uh, today um, we're going to do derive Euler, the Euler Lagrange, Lagrange formula for the calculus of variations uh, once again because I've, I already have a video on uh, this derivation, um, but it is twice as long or has twice as many steps at least. So this is a lot easier um, uh, uh, derivation. Um, the other one is a more conventional derivation. Uh, uh, derivation, and I have never seen this one um, uh, uh, before um, until I found it uh, in a source uh, book um, for uh, uh, actually on space uh, on space um, dynamics. So we'll get started here. I just I just wanted to mention that this uh, hopefully will be a lot easier to understand somewhat than my other lecture or other people's lectures, the more conventional lecture on the derivation of the Euler-Lagrange formula from the calculus of variations. Um, what we want to do is minimize uh, this integral here. It's going to be uh, uh, the integral from a to b dx of some function as a function of, uh, it's a function of x, y, and y prime. And we'd like to minimize um, the value of this function and find out who would y have to be in order to to uh, minimize this function. Um, what we're going to do is take something called the variational of the f and um, and by the way I'm just gonna I'm not gonna write all this f of x, y, and y prime. I'll just call it f. I just wanted to rewrite it as f. So we're going to use a little bit of uh, 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 easier notation. Um, so uh, what is the variational of f? It's the partial derivative of f with respect to x times the variational of x plus uh, it basically each derivative of each each um, uh, variable inside f. So the partial derivative of f with respect to y, uh, variation of y, and then the partial derivative of f with respect to y prime, uh, variation of uh, uh, y prime. This weird uh, delta symbol here is called the variation of it. Um, all right. Now, uh, once we have this, um, what we're going to do is um, uh, we can um, we can go ahead and integrate uh, take the apply the integral to this. Uh, this is the partial of x uh, times the variation of x um, uh, dx. So the dx and the integral will attack the uh, partial of fx and just give you f from a to b uh, and the variational of x. It turns out though that the variational of x is equal to zero. So this whole island will go away. Uh, the next island over here, we'll just leave alone. So we have the integral of uh, partial fy, uh, uh, dx, and then the variational of y right there. So we'll just leave, we'll just apply those to this and leave it alone. This one, uh, this term, we're going to, um, we're going to apply the integral, but we're going to integrate that by parts. And, uh, I made a, something called a DIS table. I have a DIS lecture, but, uh, however you decide to, um, uh, this is the way I, I integrate by parts. There's many different ways, so I just find this very easy. Um, so um, uh, D stands for derivative, integral, and sine. Um, the I will take the F uh, Y prime and put it right, F, F sub Y prime and put it right here. And then we're going to take the derivative with respect to X, of course. So DX F Y prime. And over here we'll put the variational D Y prime. And uh, well, I stands for integrate, so the integral of dy prime is d. Uh, I'm sorry, v variational y prime is a uh, variational y. The signs uh, on those tables are always plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. And um, the answer uh, of this integral by parts is uh, v, which is this times this times this. So that's fy prime times variational y. Uh, times positive, which is this, uh, evaluated from A to B, uh, plus the integral of this times this times this. So plus the integral, but this is negative. This times this times a negative is a negative, so it's not plus anymore. And we have the integral from A to B of this times this. That's the d dx fy prime times uh, variational y, and then, of course, times the original dx over here is right here. There's a dx right there, okay? 
So this is d dx, a derivative of this, fy prime with respect to x, uh, the variational of y, and dx, the integral of from a to b. And this is a negative sign right here. Okay. Um, what we'll do next is, um, it turns out that the, um, the uh, uh, we assume, uh, when we have a, the variational has to do with two possible curves that lead from, from, the, from one point to another point, and they both lead to the exact same points. And the variational is this distance, this differential distance between the two curves right here. Well, we notice that at A, that distance is zero. The distance between this curve and this curve at A is zero. And the distance between at B uh, from this curve to this curve is also zero. Here it's not zero. It's like a foot or something. But at the end points, it is zero. Because of that, the dy, the variational, this is in the y direction, of course. Um, the variational y at A and at B is equal to zero. So this will turn out to be zero, and this will go to zero, okay? Um, that was, by the way, who is this person? It was this guy right here. So we have three terms right here. I just dealt with this one. That was this right here. I'm, I'm putting them out a little bit out of order. Uh, you'll see why in just a second. So this term right here is right here. And the delta y at A and at B are both zero. The difference between the, the distance between the two curves, possible curves, is equal to zero. So delta, uh, the, vari the variational of y is zero. So that takes care of this whole term. Uh, next, we're going to put these two integrals together. So we have the integral. There's the integral. Here's fy. There's fy minus. And then the derivative dx of fy prime is this guy. And we can pull out the variational y and variational y. It's in both integrals, so we can pull that out. And, of course, there's a dx and a dx in both integrals, and we can pull that out also. All right? Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, you said the variational of y is equal to 0 here, uh, so let's make it equal to 0 here. Well, if that's true, we're just going to get the trivial solution the, the trivial solution for I, uh, variational of i. We'll just get variational of i equals 0, and we won't have to solve it. So there has to be some other possibility um, here, and the only other possibility is um, this could also be equal to 0 right here, This uh, the, the integrand right here that we're going to integrate. So we say uh, fy minus a d dx fy prime, fy prime is equal to uh, zero right there. And um, if you want to minimize i, you need to make sure that the variational of i is equal to zero. And if this is equal to zero, if this is equal to zero, uh, one way we could make it zero is just say, hey, uh, variational y equals zero here. It'll y These got wiped out and that got wiped out, so all we have this. But that'll give us a trivial solution, so uh, we're, we're going to try to see if we set this equal to zero, uh, if we can get other solutions. And this actually happens to be, um, of course, the Euler-Lagrange uh, uh, formula for the calculus of variation. So we've derived it, and uh, once we have that, um, once somebody gives me Mr. F, the function you want to integrate in here, you can plop it into this equation and then solve the differential equations uh, after that. And I have, I have a, at least five or six lectures on the calculus of variations, or you can look up other people's uh, lectures if you like. Okay, so I hope that was a lot easier. If you want, you can go look at my other uh, calculus of variation, Euler-Lagrange formula derivation. It was a long time ago, so you have to sweep way down in my videos to find it. It, it was quite a while ago. Uh, it was so it's near the bottom of my videos. I hope you enjoyed this lecture. Um, I look forward to any comments at the bottom. Uh, thank you very much for watching.